Well, welcome back, everyone. How was your lunch? Was it fantastic? Yes! Are we ready? We have two more digital fronts, and then we have the brand of the year presentation. So I hope you are buckled in for an exciting afternoon. I am Amber J. Lawson. I'm the CEO of Good Amplified. We're the only MCN exclusively for nonprofits, and I am your host of the digital fronts. I'm so glad you guys are here. And um, so this afternoon, we're going to kick off with New Form Digital. And it, it, New Form, oh, before we get into that, follow the conversation at hashtag MIPTV and at hashtag MDF. Uh, and uh, we'll be monitoring the social conversation. New Form Digital is the number one scripted, online scripted um, studio, and it is the perfect mix of traditional luminaries with Ron Howard and Brian Grazier and uh, digital experts, um, Kathleen and JC. So you will get experts across the board, across platforms, and to, to meet their amazing creators. So put your hands together. We'll get a little taste of New Form Digital. Humans, we're storytellers. That's a business I could get behind. People are still afraid. Please spare planet Earth. This is not a dream. What can I say? I'm a showman. Let's go make some magic. Go, go. Partnered with the best and the brightest digital talent. The collaborative process has been awesome. I think New Form is the number one digital company when it comes to making really high quality content. It's so cool that a company is giving creators such a unique opportunity. New Form pushed me to think bigger. Ha -ha. What took you so long? Crash it, change it, melt, upgrade it, charge it, point it, zoom it, press it, snap it, work it, quick, erase it, write it, cut it, paste it, save it, load it, check it, quick, rewrite it, plug it, play it, burn it, rip it. It, drop it, zip, unzip it, turf it, scroll it, pose it, click it, cross it, crack it, twitch, update it. Technology. 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 Thank you, everyone, for coming today. Uh, I'm Kathleen Grace. I am the Chief Creative Officer of New Form Digital. And I'm JC Kinjilla. I run the business side of New Form. Last year, we stood on the stage to discuss the beginnings of our new digital content studio. We, we explained our vision and revealed some of our early partners. We told you we were focused on scripted series. And we talked about our our development and creative process, where we take the best in class emerging filmmakers from social platforms, pair them with professional producers, and, and bring their visions to life. I'm very proud of our accomplishments since we last spoke. Today, we'll talk about some of those accomplishments. We'll show you uh, some series that have never been seen outside the US territory, and we'll break some new news. Since our inception in late 2014, we've produced 30 pilots, 19 series, and form 10 different distribution partnerships. As the business guy, it's my job to make sure the message is on point, and very simple. So the take home message today is two years, 30 pilots, 19 series, 10 different platforms. We're, we're very proud of, of all that work, uh, and we're really excited today to show you some tape. Uh, we have fully, full length scripted series to show you that have never been seen before outside the United States. Since we were here last year, we've premiered four series and markets. Oscars Hotel for Fantastical Creatures on Vimeo On Demand, Shitty Boyfriends on Refinery29, and The Fourth Door on Verizon's Go90. And today, you're going to see three of our original series and meet six of our incredibly talented creators and actors to hear their thoughts about their personal experience on set. And I'm especially excited to talk to you about one of our featured series today, Replay, because I co-wrote and produced with my writing partner, Sean Dempiewolf. And as a creator, it, it remains very important to me to be connected to that writing and producing, partner, producing pro process while also running a successful studio. So it's been a few <laughs> busy few months, both for myself and for Newform, but it has been immensely satisfying. 
As Kathleen says, uh, we were immensely proud of the accomplishments that we have and immensely busy. Um, we've doubled the US market for scripted originals and are excited about the global opportunities that await us for those series. Uh, and we're not done yet. I'm proud to announce exclusively on this stage our Incubator Series 3. As many of you know, we've incubated emerging digital native filmmakers and brought their visions to life in the form of pilots. We then take those pilots to, to platforms and sell them to series. Um, some of the, the platforms examples are Vimeo, YouTube Red, and Verizon's Go90. Uh, today, I'm pleased to announce our latest ser Incubator 3 series uh, from the eight creators that you see behind me. Um, today, exclusively, all those pilots are up on New Form's YouTube channel. And now for the most important news of today. We have six amazing and talented creators and actors here to talk about their three series and give you a sneak peek of their work. And to help us do that, we're bringing to stage Mitchell Davis, multi-talented actor, director, and producer. He has been a part of New Form since day one, appearing in every single one of our pilots, producing and writing one of our series, and also appearing in all of our series. Please give a warm welcome to Mitchell Davis. Hello, I'm Mitchell Davis. How are you? MIP? You can say things, it's okay. <laughs> so uh, I'm honored and thrilled today to give you a taste of what we've been doing at New Form Digital. And I have, we have three series that we are gonna show you right now that are some of the most thoughtful and original things that we've been putting out today. Starting with The Fourth Door. The Fourth Door is a six episode supernatural adventure series from the amazing Tony V and Jared Sleeper from Black Box TV follows the harrowing journey of a woman protecting a young boy as they go through the dangerous world of limbo. So let's play the clip from the fourth door. Colin! Are you okay? It was just a terrible dream. There was this girl, and there were the rippers from a geek of a star blade. Then there was him. He called himself Rafe. He said that you were dead. Oh, honey. He didn't lie. I really am dead. Mom! Who are you? I'm Gabriel. Like the angel. You're not supposed to be here. This is Colin's world, made from things he remembers from his life. Wait, why am I here? That is the question. Am I just a memory? No, you're real, just like Colin. Soon, the endless dark of Rafe's no place will consume you both. Unless you find Colin and somehow defeat Rafe. You don't have to fight anymore! My name is Lane. What is this place? Unfortunately, I know exactly where we are. The dragons! You see, Colin, when you came here, you brought a lot of things with you. I'm here to protect you. Lane! Colin! At the end of this, you're going to have to make a choice. Only one of you gets to go through the final door. The other will have to remain here. That's how it works. There we go. That's yeah. so cool yeah. on that big screen. <laughs> that is amazing. This is so Tony nice. wow. B and Jared Sleeper. Hi, How you guys hey, doing? Mitchell. We're really happy to be here. That was so really happy. Yeah, yeah, it was fun watching it huge like that. That, <laughs> was, that was cool. I'm very impressed. So I have a couple questions for you guys. Cool, cool. Hit so here me. on my cue cards. Let me do this. <laughs> okay. So Hit how it. did you come up with this storyline? This is incredible. Well, yeah. yeah. Michael, you start. I mean, for us, it's really like um, the opportunity that New Form gave us to like tell the kind of story that we wanted to, and then also give us like the direction mm -hmm. and push us really hard, is why that exists. Mm -hmm. So for us, it's about relationships. It's about it's right. very simple. It's 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 the journeys that we have to take to get over our own shit, to get past mm -hmm. ourselves. You know? Yeah. 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 yeah just the the. I mean, we, we're known mostly doing kind of scary stuff, and when we started this project, we were like, it's going to be about love. Whatever this is about, it's going to be about love. And then starting from that place and just kind of figuring out the stuff we need to figure out about how we love and how we make mistakes doing that and how that all plays out in this adventurous world 
that happens after this life was really exciting. Yeah, because they're traveling through limbo, and that's the journey of the fourth door. It's this world inside of limbo. So we had a lot of freedom to really deal with past fears, present fears of our main characters. So yeah. it, was, it was awesome. It, now, also, it is beautiful, and there's a lot of special effects happening in the show. How did you guys pull some of this stuff off? <laughs> it's all about the story, right? I yeah. mean, it's like, it's like oh, yeah. wait, she, like, she's dispatching these memories. That's what you saw, and that's why we use the color purple, for instance, because it was like, it was a representation of her energy being able to get rid of these fears of her, of her loved one. Yeah. And we I just, could talk about this all yeah. day, by the we way. I know we got a minute. I'm like, I better, like, make this short. Our whole, like, the, the creative support <laughs> at New Form, like, of just, of visions, like, encouraged us to lead our whole team, too. Like, just to be as ambitious as we were and to be as hungry uh, at, at, as ch and chasing it. Like, yeah. we had a really intensive process in creation, but at the end, everybody from, like, grips to DPs to like catering, like everybody, you know, obviously actors and writers, like just pushed themselves and really showed yeah. up. Oh, I, I was on the set, I can confirm, it was a very beautiful family that you created after a few weeks. I mean, we got to dream out loud and we're sitting in cons. <laughs> well, like, thank you so much for sitting here and chatting course. with me, guys. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so fantastic. Let's give it up one <laughs> more time for these two. Do we move? Do we dance? We can dance, we can sing. <laughs> By the way, Jarrett plays Gabriel, such a beautiful voice. Thank you should you. definitely check out the series. Yeah. It, was, it was such a Guys, we're trying block. to talk about Oscars Hotel. Yeah, let's oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah. So the next show is Oscars <laughs> Hotel for Fantastical Creatures, which it's, it's a lot, but just listen. So it transports the audience into a whimsical, fantastical universe where Oliver, played by Chris Kindle, he's back there, finds himself as the temporary proprietor of his uncle's magical hotel. Ooh. Play the clip. Okay. I welcome you to Oscar's Hotel. Hey. Hello. Welcome. What is your name? Oliver. What's the place for me? I'll be back in about a week. <laughs> Uncle, I don't know if I'm exactly qualified, but... Don't worry. The place practically <laughs> runs itself. I think I just cheated death. <laughs> I think I might have just killed that guy. Please wake up. Please don't fire me. If you want crazy, I know a guy. Everyone's going to have a great time, but if you get shot, you dance till you die. We are here to repossess the hotel. What? Give me 24 hours, I will get you the money. This year's piece of art is divine, isn't it? Monet, you must know some artwork that could hang around the hotel for a while. Just so you know, I'm illegal in 42 states. The hell is that? <laughs> Who do you think they'll get to play us? Even though this place has totally kicked my ass, it has really opened my eyes. You could not have done it without me. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Great. I like that we're just sharing just a I couple of pals on yeah. stage in front of a bunch of people. Okay, um, so Chris, I have a few questions about Oscar's Hotel. Yeah, go, go ahead, yeah. So what was your favorite experience on set? Favorite experience on set? Um, I mean, there were so many. I think there was a lot of YouTubers in the show yes. that like I love watching and they came to the set and played like a crazy character, like I love Olin Rogers, and he came and played the Box King. Box so it's a character, it's just, it's the king of the it's underworld. Like, yeah, it's like the underworld made of cardboard. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so PJ directed this thing, and I mean, it's so creative and visual that there's some, the days where we were doing something, it was so crazy that you can't really explain what's going on, <laughs> um, and it's, it's, it was just so exciting. Uh, also, okay, so there was a lot of creatures in this, and a few of them were actually made by the Jim Henson Creature Shop. So I want to ask, what was it like? Because there was a full episode where you just interacted with just puppets. Yeah. What was that like? So obviously, like, it's, it's Jim Henson, so I'm already a huge fan. Like, I grew up watching Sesame Street and stuff like that. So it was kind of... I was more nervous acting al alongside puppets because these, these puppets look just like the, like the Jim Henson stuff, and it was so exciting and I, I people kept telling me make sure you know you look into the puppets eyes not into the puppeteers but I was like I know how to do this <laughs> because it was just it's been a dream of mine to like be in 
like a Jim Henson thing. So it was so cool. Yeah, and we got to hang out at the creature shop and actually watch them make it. Yeah, puppet, which we, was... we got to watch them actually how they make these puppets. And what I found so surprising is the guys who are the puppeteers, they're like hilarious comedian actors. Like they were, they can make so, that these, I mean, obviously they're just puppets, but by the end of it, you kind of see them as a whole comedy character. And yeah. I mean, it's, it's just amazing. Yeah, they really bring them to life. Well, thank you so much, Chris, for sitting here and chatting with no, me. No problem. There you go. What this do I do now? No, 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 we're gonna show the next one. Okay. This is great, I love this. So, we got one more that we're gonna show you called Replay, and this, this is crazy. This is crazy, I love this so much. This is a series that follows Allison, an aspiring DJ who is trying to get the attention of two major Vegas promoters to attend her big birthday bash. Yeah, it's huge, right. big birthday bash. The night of her big moment, though, she suffers a serious bout of anxiety, and her party is a major fail, flops hard. She wishes that her day could start all over because it's her birthday, she has one wish, you know? Little did she know, though, that she was going to relive her birthday 25 times. Okay. Let's play the clip. Roll the clip. Replay it. Good morning, honey. I just wanted to remind you about your birthday breakfast this morning. Sven and Sophie are coming to my party. You've been stressed about this party and impressing Sven and Sophie for weeks now. Allison Lee, DJ. You haven't incorporated many people into this party. <laughs> Do you ever have one of those nights where just everything goes wrong? We're uh, throwing a party tonight. If you could let us know before you call the cops, I could totally cancel my arts and crafts club. If you have room for one more. I have a bottle of shrimp tequila. Can I get a drink that doesn't taste like boiled ass? You are one month and 20 days late. I have ways to get my money. Hey, stop with the couch! I don't want to hijack your birthday wish or anything, but you might want to wish this day never happened. Good morning, honey. I just wanted to remind you about your birthday breakfast this morning. You, Dad, I think I'm reliving the same day over again. I felt that way the entire 15 years I was married to your mother. When we kissed, it was so powerful, the world spun backwards a day. Maybe I have like a brain thing. What, like a stroke? Google your symptoms, see if it's happened to anybody else. Did you really repeat your birthday 30 times? Home! Oh. I need your help. First thing you have to keep in mind is that changing one thing will change a whole buttload of things. Why didn't you just say domino effect? Nobody calls it that. How many times is this going to happen to me? Siri, call the cops. Dad, what are you doing here? You light up my life. Can you go now, please? I'm going to kill you. It seems I'm doomed to repeat my birthday for eternity. So I'm joined here with Mamrie Hart. Hi. Hello. Hello, and Serena Fialo. Oh, you say it so exotic. I tried to say it the right way. Fialo, Fialo. So I want to chat with you two a little bit. Is that cool? Yes. Perfect. Hello. We're on stage. That is true. We are here. <laughs> so what was a memorable moment that happened while you guys were on set for replay? Oh, so many moments. So, so many moments. Just but, one from okay. each. One I'm gonna from give each. you. I'm gonna give you one, and it has to do with you. Um, okay. So. Lindsay Fonseca, who plays Allison, she repeats her birthday 25 times. One birthday is a kid's party, which is my literal dream to have a kid's party as an adult. And I love to hula hoop, found a bunch of hula hoops. We had a contest. We did have a contest. That was amazing. We did some sack races mm -hmm. because of you. God bless. <laughs> you know? Um, my favorite memory that. is, and I'm, I'm, I'm in two episodes, but one of them, I eat a ton of brownies. That's true. And so I was like, can I get another take? I'll do another take. I'll eat another pan. I'll Why eat not? another pan of brownies. <laughs> yeah. You can afford it. Uh -huh. Cheat day. I loved it. Serena, okay, yes. so you are, your background is more working in the traditional sense. What was it like working on such a digital show? You know, it was exactly like working on everything else, except somehow it was way more efficient. Yeah. Preach. I felt like we were working so many hours, but it was just like nonstop, and it was so, it was so um, collaborative, mm -hmm. and everybody was so creative, and they were so open to suggestions, and to, like, just like making it work all together, which I'd never experienced before. I thought it was so nice. It was a very well-oiled machine. Yes. Because when you think about it, the show, it's so interesting because 
it is the same day over and over and right. over, and so the continuity is intense. But I showed up, I think you guys have been shooting two weeks already, yeah. and I thought you guys were gonna be like crazy. Yeah. Just having, because you relived <laughs> yeah. the same day. No, we WD 40 that set, it well, was well oiled. oiled. It yeah. was slick. Yeah, so, was slick. what was it like for both of you just collaborating in general with New Form Digital? Because, Mamrie, I know that you've, yeah. you've worked with New Form twice. We've seen yes, you a couple I've, times. I've had the pleasure to work on a couple series. I was in Oscar's Hotel as um, Octo Chef, the, probably the biggest thing in the whole show, a giant octopus. Um, and I think it, it really, just that character in general shows how supportive um, New Form is for their creators. Because a lot of times when digital talent works in a more traditional space, they're kind of shepherded or handheld. Mm -hmm. And New Form really just helps you execute your ideas. So when PJ wanted to have a giant chef who has martinis in her tentacles and whatnot, they made it happen. <sighs> yeah. New Form's like an octopus. It has, what? you know, like eight arms and they're all working on different things, sucking it up, making it right. Speaking of Is that not like up. an octopus? Somebody wants some more work. <laughs> hey, what up? I, know. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll do all your series. Can we just I, I have to agree put it with both of you, though. I mean, New Form, it is such a, an amazing collaborative experience. I mean, just as being someone who's in it also, it's just, it's weird when you go to set where they're not just telling you, like, no, no, no. They're like, well, actually, tell me about that. What do you mean? Yeah, but they help you, I'm assuming, I haven't created a series with them, only acted in it, but they develop it rather than a lot of times when you develop with people, that's like just how they change it into their idea. Mm -hmm. And really, they, they're just a support system. They're wonderful to work with. So fantastic. Well, thank you both for sitting here thank and chatting you. with thank me. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Looks like we're about out of time. I got to do the outro. But I'm thinking, could we get everybody back out here for the outro? Can we do the outro like proper with everybody? I think it'd be fun. I'm, I'm not standing, standing up. for the choreographed dance. Let's do it. I nailed it. <laughs> I nailed it. Yeah, give Did it up Mitchell for Mitchell Davis. Davis. We nailed it. Great five Thank you, everyone, for coming out this afternoon. Ooh, whoa, the mic just came on. Uh, we really appreciate you guys coming out and hearing about our series. We're very proud of our work, and we look forward to hopefully seeing it in some of your territories. What up? Have a great night. Play that cool music. Play that cool, cool music. music. We're going to dance out. Did we get to dance out of that's what we're doing. All right. Where's okay. Else? Okay. No. Enough. Enough. <laughs> okay. Get off. Some of you Work might have seen out. our moves on the dance floor last night.